Man, I just I just did a Facebook Live and the sitting down was painful. Or not sitting down. Well, sitting down was painful. Whew, yeah, I got to work that out. All right, enough looking at myself. Sometimes it's good to see what your body looks like. I, I've been eating a lot of bread. Uh, too much bread. I had like five foot long subs, you know. Holding the camera was really annoying, so I'm doing it like this. It's not a live video. I might stream live and do this, but I don't know if I can stream live from my desktop on Facebook. And uh, YouTube stream live. I'm looking for like a good video chat where a bunch of people can get on the chat, but you can browse it. Like get on and be like, just sort of chats that are about whatever, dogs, religion, justice, truth. You know, you look up all, all these subjects. Um, that's what we should turn minds into. Badass chat room. And I guess I thought about religion. The thing we're supposed to be talking about right now is God. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you can see my head while I'm talking to you. This this microphone is great, man. Oh yeah, weed's legal. Do I need to remind you again? Sorry, I just noticed I'm a little dry. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. It would be nice to go swimming. <sighs> what if I as I get it, pick up the water and I went. I just splashed it all over my face. Look at it. Because that's what I want to do. God, okay, this is what we got to remember. This is what everyone's got in common. Not everyone, but the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews. I'm using, I know. that there's a God, that there's an energy field outside of your body that's doing something. And it may be condensed into matter. It may actually be a human being that is so scientifically advanced they've seeded the universe and are mind controlling it. You never know. But it is, I think, more likely that it is ethereal because it's easy to bend and change and the impossible becomes possible. That would make sense. It's like swimming. You don't question the water. The water's not a human, but we don't have a problem with that. So why does God have to be a human? You know, it's more likely that it's like water than it is like a human. But I think it's the energy field coalescing at the center of the galaxy or in the stars. You know, you can feel different levels in your heart. The energy coalescence. And motion, so there's momentum. You know, a lot of energy, if it coalesces, the, moving it creates more momentum than if a little bit of energy is moved. So mass, massing it. God. Energy fields. But I don't want to justify the center of the universe because there's probably another center beyond that. But the galactic core, we're pretty much moving as a unit. And you see the galaxies changing shape. So, like, obviously that has something to do with God. And I would assume the sphere is the perfect God. Or on this plane, it looks like a sphere because we're looking at it through a lens. But it could be a square. It could not have borders. probably doesn't have borders. Um, you know, it's like if it just looked like a circle because you see, only see a two-dimensional thing of it. You only see a three-dimensional thing of it. But I think what's happening is um, we've all kind of defined it. I'm sorry, the headphones are beeping. They're telling me they're going to shut off because I don't, I'm not listening to anything. It's, that's the problem with this. That's not good. Maybe I need to, oh, I need to do this, I think. Okay, don't feel rushed. Well, it's okay to be a little rushed because we need to stop the bombs right now. Remember, what would God want? What does God want right now? What would, what would justice, what would, just, what would a just God want? Peace among men. It's an old archaic way to say it. Man and women. Peace among human, among all races on earth. Yeah, that's what God wanted originally from the story of the Bible. Peace among people and animals and plants even. Well, but they did eat plants, but... Thus is nature at this point, uh, so it seems. But God doesn't want us to fight. God wants us to be friends.
I can't, I can speak for what God is telling me, which is bold. When people say, like, Jesus said that, God says, God wants this, God wants, and Muhammad, like, these people feel like they, well, Yesh, Yeshua, and Muhammad uh, wanted peace. So their, their portion, you know, they spoke their God, their truth, their bending, but you bend it, you choose what you want it to be. So in that sense, God is your ally. You have to let it be your ally in order for it to be your ally by relaxing, letting the energy into you. It will fix your body on its own. Oh, yeah, let it into the spot that hurts, man. <laughs> Everyone's got one. But at the same time, God may be completely controlled by your body at so far a distance that you're barely affecting it, but still controlling it. God's like a rubber band that never breaks but you're always bending it on one side. So if you're real close to it and you're bending on one side, you're gonna see a lot of change in the angles of the rubber band. But if it's real, 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 like millions of miles away and you're moving it, the, you're not gonna, it's not gonna look like the rubber band's moving at all. You know, you're gonna to have to get up on it with the microscope to see if there's any change. And that's the way we affect things in the distance. And that is measured by time. And that's where rhythm comes in and the fun of being human music, you know, like if you vibrate something and then you start and it starts like kind of and then you do another like micro vibrate inside, you can enhance the wider thing. It's kind of like how you snap something, break the, spat, the sound barrier. You can do that with God, you know, behavior, mom momentum shifts and changes. Control the energy, man. And when I say man, I mean woman and human man, you know, that simplification of what we are. <laughs> 